What's up guys? It's Saturday, um, night before Father's Day. I'm up here at my office and I'm sitting on the floor because I'm getting my stuff packed. But part of my office, it's a wreck. We just repainted and redid the carpet so everything was taken out and brought back in. Um, anyways, I um, had left everything up here to charge so everything is good to go now. Um, and I'm going to show you what I have in here. So, uh, I feel like I've talked about this a lot, but there's always people that don't know what I use and everything. This is the main camera that I use um, for most of the stuff you see on my channel, a Canon G7X Mark II. Um, so really quickly, this is a great little, just like run and gun, handheld camera, super solid, really small. So what I like about it, it's got this flip up screen. Um, it's F1.8, um, so sensor's obviously a lot smaller than um, a lot of the cameras out there right now but it just gets a great picture for such a compact size battery life is not awful the biggest drawback about this camera probably the single biggest downside is that you cannot put um, an external microphone um, on it in it but for me most of my audio is always going to come from the drums anyway so the built-in audio everything you hear on my channel like me talking 99 percent of it is from this camera the built-in audio so um, it actually does pretty good but yeah it's a great little camera right now i'm shooting on a canon m50 with a sigma oh man 18 to 35 i think with the viltrox speed booster so you video nerds will notice there's a little vignette um, that everyone's complaining about i actually don't really mind it but it allows this um, lens to be f 1.2 which is just crazy crazy fast so do you hear that whistle that was nice um, anyway so all my batteries everything's all charged up I'm about to go into the sanctuary and get a little rehearsal in and set up some camera shots. So, here we go. Just again, for anyone that cares, I'm shooting um, using Lewis's uh, Canon M50 with a Viltrox Speed Booster, which this one does two things. It's an adapter that goes from the Canon EOS M mounts to the regular um, Canon EF mounts. Um, and it also uh, basically makes the lens faster. The downside is this lens is actually made for a crop sensor camera and this adapter is made for like EF full frame sensor uh, lenses. So um, long story short, it's not perfectly compatible I guess is the best way to say it. So there's a little bit of vignette. I'm using the Movo um, VXR10. It's only like 40 bucks. Anyways, this is an incredible setup and then a small rig cage. So it's kind of funny because Lewis has built like probably the setup that I would build if I were to upgrade. So I'm gonna be using this for the rest of the night. So I'm curious to see what you guys think. I mean, it's a lot of investment, but I've been looking at, you know, what would I do if I were to try to increase the quality, production quality, video quality. Again, my the thing is, I just love this little camera. It's so easy, so portable, the image looks great, sound is, you know, usable. So I just don't have a lot of motivation to change just because I'm so happy with this, but obviously, this camera is a lot better, a lot of specs. So mess around with it tonight, see what I think. Uh, but curious to see what you guys think. What do y'all vlog with? What are y'all using? What gear are y'all running? And what do you think I should do next? If you care about that kind of thing. I gotta be honest, you guys. Sometimes I feel like I shoot the exact same thing all the time for my vlogs. And if I'm being honest, I feel like I've been slacking a little bit recently. Recently as in the past year <laughs> um, on my channel with production stuff and honestly it's just because i haven't had time i haven't made time to um you know really add in a lot of the shots i was doing some some drone stuff every once in a while a couple of really cool shots like that and i really need to get back to it because i enjoy it it's kind of an outlet for me but recently man i just haven't had time i've literally only had time just to knock out my actual um filming and of the service or whatever the event is so i'll we'll flip this light on so the cool thing about this little mount is it's can chunk a light on here and make it work. All right, I'm gonna get set up. This setup is just so sick.
Trying out some new sticks. Chris Coleman signatures. Um, so they're a little bit bigger than a 5B even, and a little bit longer. So I, I you know, I play more gospel. I'm not a super heavy hitter, but um, I've been having like a problem with my thumb, man. Like my my large knuckle on my thumb has been hurting for a while. And I, you know, I'm obviously not a physical therapist or anything, but I think it's this side snare. As I play it, I naturally kind of open my um, grip up, and so I think my thumb has been taking a lot of that impact. So anyways, my thumb has just been chronically sore for a while, and I found that playing a bigger stick kind of helps with that. So I've been trying some different sticks. I really love the balance of these Chris Coleman. I mean, they're big, they're beefy, they're heavy, um, but they're balanced really, really well. So I'm going to try that, and the tapers, they have a little bit thicker shoulder on the stick. So uh, I'm going to try that, but about to get some rehearsal in and uh, try to get prepped for the morning. Alright friends, well I'm done for the night, um, it's 10.30 so not that bad, easy set tomorrow, I just wanted to really make sure everything was dialed in, but um, man, I'm just geeking out over these symbols and I'm not sure when this is going to get released, hopefully sometime next week, um, but looking forward to it, because um, they're sounding sweet, and this kit is sounding great, y'all this setup is the truth, this is scary close, this is closer than we've ever been. Feel close to y'all right now. Um, probably see the little lack of sleep in my eyes. I'm just rambling. I'm literally talking to this camera because it looks so good. I can't stop. I don't look good, but just the image is just sicko. 
see you guys in the morning. I'll be back on my G7X at that point because I'll have to give Lewis his camera back. So, anyways, see you in the morning. Hey, Sunday morning. Um, some of the band's already here, just getting set up, getting everything going. Um, got my Rebel T3i set up over there. So I'll get that side shot. I'm going to figure out where I want to place this. I've been placing it kind of like here, looking right at me. It's cool because it's kind of a dynamic, um, you know, really close-in shot. I may mount it over here on the side. We'll see. I'm not sure exactly yet, but about to get things rolling, so pumped. Hey, so one thing actually this morning, um, that, that'll be interesting. I'm, I'm going to post the whole thing unless I really botch it up. We're going from I'm Not Ashamed Free Chapel, you know, like the bum, 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 ba, na, na, da, just huge, big 6 8 song into Build My Life. So we're going straight into it. So transitioning, you know, obviously uh, I'm Not Ashamed ends on this huge high note, and then Build My Life starts with no drums. So kind of doing two things to kind of make those arrangements mesh a little bit more. One, when we go to the um, outro, there's like an extended outro on I'm Not Ashamed. We've shortened that just a little bit. And then I'm not going full groove. Kind of going to this like crash and tom thing to kind of bring it down almost without losing energy. And then really I'm taking all the entire arrangement of Build My Life and kind of leveling the whole thing up. So uh, I'm not ashamed of the name with um, dun, 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 you know, kind of that vibe. And then when we get into Build My Life, I'm kind of going to like a doom, doom, doom. So that way, um, two things, you know, it'll kind of hopefully make that transition a little more seamless. And then also it will give Build My Life a little more energy. So um, I don't just willy nilly change tra uh, drum, you know, parts and uh, the way we lay them out. But for this case, in this case, since it's like the second song in the set, and you know we were doing a live set. I wanted to be, have a little more energy, give more life, a little more life. Um, so it should be cool. But anyways, uh, we just kind of wanted to share with you kind of the mindset going into that song transition, and then how we build the set and what we do with it. So um, hopefully I'll post it again if I don't just mess the whole thing up. Great service today. Um, everything felt good. The set felt good. Transition was pretty good. It's, you know, it's just a tough transition. It's a it's a big way from the I'm not ashamed down to um, uh, build my life. So, but got everything tracked on my uh, Zoom H4n. So again, the way I did that came out of the Avion with the splitter cable from Marino Customs. So it goes quarter inch in to uh, split to uh, eighth inch female, which I plug my headphones in, and then an uh, eighth inch male, which I put an adapter and plug into this. 
I'm using uh, an iRig. So, and I guess really I didn't need the iRig today. Uh, I could have gone straight in, but I have my iRig plugged in for my phone. So, if you're going into a recorder, you don't necessarily need an iRig, but for like a phone, you would need to use like an iRig or something. So, um, anyways, Zoom H4n. They have a new one, H4n Pro, but this is great. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of my, you know, my ear mix. You probably already heard. So, um, anyways, great day today. Service was great. Um, set felt great. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Um, all my gear is pretty much listed in the description. I've got tons of links, all kinds of stuff there. And uh, hope you subscribe, like this video, share it, all that stuff. And we'll see you guys in the next one.